this is uh, question number 20. Okay, the numbers 1 to 9 are placed into 9 squares of 3 by 3 grid. Okay, so the question is what is the probability that some of the numbers in each row and each column is odd? The first of all, you have to figure out, we need to figure out how many odd number and even number. Okay, so check out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there are 5 odd number, 4 even. Okay, so the next one, another to have right sum is odd number okay sum is odd number okay of three numbers okay so it even number even plus odd that is odd right okay uh, the next one is odd plus odd plus odd is odd that's the case okay now let's figure out how we assign the numbers of the okay take a look this is 3 by 3. Okay, now anyway, but this way, I'm going to take odd. This one or this one, I'm going to choose this one first, okay? Odd plus odd plus odd, that is odd. But we have a 5 odd over here, okay? So another 2 odd maybe over here, or second column or third column, right? So this is odd too. Not the other one is all even, it's okay, right? Yeah. So for this case is what? Even plus, even plus, odd is what? Still odd. That's okay. So we have to assign the number, okay, like this grid. That's right? Okay. So how many different ways to assign this odd number? So maybe you can check it out. This odd can this zero 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 is what here or right here and here there are three right and this odd take look, this odd it can be placed here or here here right so another three over here okay so the number of ways to assign this or zero right column row is what three times three equals nine isn't it? That's right. Okay. Uh, maybe we can consider this one. Okay, try this. Okay. So we have a 3 by 3. If we have 0, 0, 0 over here, okay? So maybe this is 0, 0 over here, okay? That's the first case. Or 0, 0 over here, right? That is second. The next one, 0, 0, 0 over here, another one, okay? So when you have this zero one, okay, the row one, we have a zero, zero, zero. So we have about one, two, three different ways. It's okay. Now the next one, try. If you have zero, 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 it's in the middle. Over here, okay. Row two. So we already done another zero, zero. So we can be zero, zero over here, okay, one case. The next one, zero zero over here, second case, and zero zero over here, another one, okay? So one, two, three, another three different case, okay? This is three, this is three. It's okay. Other uh, next one. If you have a zero 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 over here, that is row three. So first one, it can be one over this one. The second one is what? Zero, zero is over here. Right? The last one is what? Zero, zero is over here. So here and here, here. Another three. So when you add this one is nine is okay, right? That's all possible ways to arrange, right? Odd numbers in three by three. It's okay? So each numbers, this is nine. So each number, take a look, take a look, I'm going to take this one. 
Now we're going to arrange other number into five space. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's permutation, right? There is order. So five combination, I know five permutation five is what? Five factorial, is it? Second one. So we have four even number, okay, arranged into this four squares. Okay, how many? Four factorial, is it? Times four factorial. But each case, how many case over here? Nine over here, right? So we multiply nine, okay? Each case is this much, right? So probability, there's no restriction. No restriction, any numbers can be placed over here. Any numbers, there's no restriction, okay? No restriction. The nine number can be here, 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 arranged, okay? That is a nine pectoral, isn't it? Nine Victoria. Yeah, that's the probability, okay? That's the probability. Okay, now let's simplify. A little move up. Okay, simplify. Nine Victoria is nine times, eight times, seven times, six times, five Victoria. This is five Victoria, four Victoria, four times, three times, two times one and nine is what? Nine, okay? So this is five factory out. Nine is out, okay? Four and two is eight is out. So we got what? Three, one, six divided by three is two, right? So we got only one over 14, okay? That, that's the probability, okay? Okay, that's it. All right, this is question 21. A sphere with center O has radius of 6, has radius 6, okay? Uh, this is a radius of 6, I will write down, that's the original sphere, okay? Same thing. And uh, a triangle with a side 15, 15, 24 is situated in space. So they each triangle is tangent to the sphere, right? So it looks like this one, okay? If this side is 15, this is 15, and this is 24. All right? So distance is from this one. When you cross section this circle, that is a cross section, okay? That's actually a circle, okay? But this is a circle. So we're gonna find out the distance of it, okay? Distance. This point is like this, okay? This point, P over here. And also just below the P, we have another center over here, okay? Yeah, that's it. So to find the value of D, actually we need to find the radius of this cross section, okay? X, where is it? Okay, I'm gonna use R, is better? Okay, R. So where is R? This is R, this is R, or this is R, right? Okay, that's it. So we need to find the value of R, right? So from this uh, isosceles triangle, 15, 15, 25, but how you find the value of R? Okay, anyway, can you find the area of this triangle? This is 15, this is 15, this is 24, it's a half of this one isosceles, okay? Oh, that is 12. Yes, okay. What is the length this side? What is the length of this side? 15 square minus 12 square, okay? Or oh, you can use this. 15 square minus 12 square. 15 square is 225. 12 square is 144. That is square root 81, which is what? 9, isn't it? Also, you can use right triangle triplet, okay? 3, 4, 5, 9, 12, 15, okay? This is 9. So what is the area of this triangle? 24 times 9 and divided by 2. Okay, that's the area. Okay, in order to find the value of R, can you find this area in different way? I'm gonna make right three triangle. One, two triangle. Okay, now first triangle, this one. What is the area of this triangle? With this, what is the area of this triangle? First one. D 
the triangle equals 24 times r and divided by 2. That's right? Okay. Now this triangle. 15 base is 15. This is height, okay? Height is altitude, always perpendicular to the base, okay? So 15 times r and divided by 2. This also 15 r and divided by 2. Okay? So now let's find the area of this in terms of r, okay? So 15 r plus 15 r plus 24 r and divided by 2. That's the area of this triangle. That is equals 24 times 9 over 2, isn't it? Okay, now let's make it twist out. So 15, 15, 54 r, right? So 54R equals okay, 24 times 9. Okay, divided by 54. R equals how much? This 1, this is 6, right? So 24 divided by 6 is 4, isn't it? The radius, this is 4, okay? We just find the radius is 4. So this is, radius is 4. I'm going to delete this one. This is 4. Okay, almost done. Okay, so what is the length of D? You can use, okay, Pythagorean symbol again, okay? So D equals, what is it? 6 squared is 36, 4 squared is 16, square root 20. Okay, that is equals to red pi. Okay, so choice D is the answer. Okay, uh, it's not that much, right? Uh, Okay, okay, that's it. Okay, I'll see you next time.